The X-Files is known for aliens and government conspiracies, but there were some really good scares to be had along the way. Between the conspiracy episodes and the evil deeds of the smoking man, some great episodes sometimes were more horror than supernatural. To celebrate spooky season, let's take a look at the 10 scariest X-File episodes ever. And before jumping in, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more movie and TV lists and other fun videos. Also, head to our website, strangelyawesomegames.com. Starting at number 10, we have Chinga, Season 5. Chinga takes place during Season 5, which was sometimes a little odd since it was constrained by the first movie, which was filmed before Season 5, but set after. Chinga, though, is a great standalone story written by the master of horror himself, Stephen King. And in true King fashion, Chinga features a possessed doll that wreaks havoc on a town in Maine. Scully, while they're on vacation, gets pulled into the investigation after walking to a supermarket while the doll is causing chaos. Also of note in this episode is that Mulder plays a reduced role, with the only interactions between the two characters being over the phone. Number 9, Roadrunners Season 8. Another great episode that focuses almost entirely on Scully. The episode opens with a brutal cult murder in the desert, and the creepiness only continues from there. Scully is in the desert investigating reports of murders when she stumbles on a cult of people who worship a parasite. They capture people and insert the parasite into their spine, only to murder those people when the body rejects it. Also at play in Roadrunners is the fact that Dana Scully and John Doggett are still forming their relationship and trust. Scully's lack of communication with Doggett puts her in greater danger. And finally, Scully's secret pregnancy adds an extra dimension to the parasite's danger. Number 8, The Host, Season 2. A true Monster of the Week episode, The Host finds Mulder investigating a tapeworm-like creature who bites and infects its victims with a worm of their own. The X-Files are closed, but Skinner sends Mulder to New Jersey to investigate, knowing it is an X-File. The host has some truly scary moments, including a monster that's just plain menacing and terrifying. The final showdown between Mulder and the creature in the sewers adds a darkness and disorientation to the scene that amps up the fear factor. Number 7, Detour, Season 5. Detour is what would happen if Mulder and Scully were in a Predator sequel. While on their way to a team-building seminar, Mulder and Scully encounter a mysterious disappearance in the woods. It turns out that a pair of predators with the ability to remain invisible by adapting to their environment are hunting those they feel are encroaching on their habitat. Whereas most predators would eliminate the weakest prey first, these hunters are the opposite. Scully and Mulder must survive alongside their new colleagues after they realize they're the prey, not the hunters. Number 6 Ice, Season 1. The setting and psychological horror aspect of Ice make it a terrifying episode early in the X-Files run. Stranded in the Arctic with no way out due to a weather event, Mulder and Scully investigate what caused the scientists at a research facility to descend into madness and engage in violence against each other. The isolation in Ice is what makes the episode scary, as well as the psychological horror aspect of not knowing who's infected and who isn't. As suspicions arise among the agents and the scientists, they turn on each other. Can they find the cause before it's too late? Number 5, Sanguinarium, Season 4. Sanguinarium is a story about witchcraft and plastic surgery, and the original script was written by two fans of the show who submitted it unsolicited. In Illinois, patients at a plastic surgery clinic are dying from gruesome and gory deaths during procedures, and Mulder and Scully are sent to investigate. As the episode progresses, we learn that a doctor is using witchcraft to harm patients in order to preserve his own youth. Meanwhile, a nurse tries to protect the patients. Will she succeed, or will she be framed for the murders? Number 4, Familiar, Season 11. Season 11 might have ended poorly for a lot of fans, but the eighth episode, Familiar, brings the chills in classic Stephen King style. The episode opens in a manner reminiscent to King's It, with a young child following a children's TV character into the woods. Later, the child is found dead. 
Mulder and Scully investigate, learning that there's a lot more to this town than originally thought. Witchcraft, strange power, and friction and drama within the town's residents play a large role. Familiar makes this list for some decidedly dark scenes involving murders of children and brutal acts of revenge. Number three, Irresistible, season two. Irresistible is scary without any supernatural elements to it, although the villain Donnie Faster is revealed to be a demon in a later episode. Mulder and Scully are called to St. Paul, Minnesota to investigate a suspected death fetishist who is escalating. Scully is increasingly uncomfortable with the case, needing to even step away at one point. Faster soon targets Scully, who is only briefly removed from the abduction she experienced earlier in the season. She is on her own, trying desperately to escape before it's too late. Meanwhile, Mulder and the task force race to intervene and save her. Number 2. Squeeze, Season 1 Eugene Victor Toombs is one of the best X-File villains in the history of the show. That's especially impressive because it's only the third episode of X-Files to air. In Squeeze, Eugene Toombs is killing people to eat their livers in order to re-enter hibernation for another 30 years. And on top of that, Toombs can stretch and fit into incredibly small places, like air vents. That makes his entry into murder scenes hard to see for authorities. Mulder suspects Toombs from an early on in the episode, despite it being nearly impossible for Toombs to gain access to the victims. Once again, the villain targets Agent Scully as Toombs breaks into her apartment in an attempt to make her the final victim he needs to hibernate. The episode ends with Toombs making a new nest inside his cell. In the last spot, at number one, Home, season four. Home is the episode that got banned from re-airing on the Fox network due to its disturbing content. In it, The agents are investigating mysterious murders in the small town of Home and come to suspect a family of inbreeding brothers. Their mother, once thought dead, has survived and is trying to reproduce with her sons. Several disturbing scenes and scary moments make this the scariest episode of The X-Files to this date. There's a reason Fox didn't want it re-aired. Luckily for us, it's now available on Blu-ray and digital collections of the show for all to experience. Well, that's our list. What do you think is the scariest episode of The X-Files? Let us know in the comments, and remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more TV and movie lists. Until next time, stay strange and have a great day, everyone.